Andrew Adams live in Salt Lake tonight. Thanks, Andrew. Mike? Mm -hmm. Well, we got a little snow here in Utah the past couple of days, but overall, the warmer temperatures this winter have been great for a lot of workers, especially those who work outside and more specifically up in the trees. New specialist Alex Cabro is a tree hugger, at least <laughs> he is one tonight. All right, Alex, uh, I'm looking forward to the explanation on this one. Uh, you know, Mike, you should really try climbing trees again because it really does make you feel young. You know, it's something a lot of us did when we were younger, but a few pet people kept doing it into adulthood and now they do it for a living. In fact, one of the best in the world climbing trees lives near Logan. There are times when Mark Malmstrom realizes he never really grew up. That what he did so many times as a kid, someone now pays him to do. A little bit. <laughs> Malmstrom, who lives in River Heights, just outside of Logan, is an arborist. This is what I call a toy bag. Spending almost every day up a tree. We do tree pruning, removals, stump grinding. He's been in business now 15 years and doesn't remember a winter as mild as this one has been. We normally plan on some bad days and snow days, and there's been very, very few. Of course, the nicer weather means more time to do work. But for Malmstrom, it also means more time to practice. You just hope you can go in and uh, perform well. You see Malmstrom. Stand clear is preparing for the tree climbing world championships. Swing. Yes, there is such a thing with competitors from Germany, New Zealand, Sweden, and now Utah. Swing. It's really intimidating to get started because uh, there's guys that are, are very good. Malmstrom is pretty good yeah. too. He has won Utah's tree climbing championships. Yes, there is such a thing four times. So this is my starting position. No, he's not so scared of heights. Breather. No, I, I don't mind climbing. The falling part makes me nervous. But he loves talking to people enough. about what he does. A tree climbing champion? Never heard of that. <sighs> people start looking up whenever he practices. He looks like a champion to me. <laughs> Malmstrom would love to be the world champion, but more important to him, he just wants to do well. Whether you're competing against someone or just against yourself, if you can come away and, and uh, have a great climb, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. And now the World Championships are being held next month in Tampa. We'll certainly we'll let you know how he does. We're hoping he does well. Now, of course, when you get up in a tree, you got to get back down, Mike. And I know it looks like I'm really high up in this tree, but I'm really only six, seven feet off the ground. I even got a ladder to get up here because uh, I'm nowhere near as good as Malmstrom is. If not, Mike, I would have asked you to come out here and help me get down. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I would have, I would have called uh, Salt Lake Fire. Maybe they get their ladder truck, truck and help you there. out there, yeah. huh? No, everything's fine. All right, great story there, Alex. Thank okay. you. What are you?